I'm Melissa and thanks for joining me today. With it being Thanksgiving week here in the U.S., it's got me thinking a lot about gratitude and giving thanks and I wanted to share some of my tips on how I show gratitude daily in my life and give you a few ideas. I would love to see some ideas that you have or some things that you do in the comments below to show gratitude or to remember to keep gratitude in your heart every day. So let's get started. I did want to mention that changing your thinking to a more grateful mindset or changing gratitude in your heart doesn't happen overnight and so don't get discouraged if some of these things don't come naturally to you. They definitely didn't come naturally to me when I first started and they still don't. I still have to work at it. It's something that you continuously have to do but the more that you do it, it does become a little bit of a habit. And so it does become easier in, uh, for you to remember and to do these things. So tip number one, a gratitude journal. So actually earlier this year when I was looking at uh, starting homeschool with my son, who is in the first grade, I saw that they have kids gratitude journals and they were so cute and did end up getting those for my two oldest and they've been doing that for school and it's just been really fun it's good it helps him with his writing and sentences and all of that because he's in first grade but it's fun to have him think about something that he's grateful for and just kind of go ahead and get that mindset in him as well but when I ordered them so probably around June in the beginning of the summer summer when I ordered them, I decided to start keeping a daily gratitude journal for myself. So I just have a plain notebook. I didn't get anything special for myself, but um, I will link the kids one below. But I didn't get anything special for myself, and I just literally put the date, and I write one or two things, whatever I'm thinking, that I am grateful for that day. And... It's normally at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, it just helps me to think of one great thing that was going on in my life, and it just is a positive way to think, and um, it just humbles you, and so I think it's a great thing. So with my gratitude journal, on days that are really hard and everything seems to be going wrong, and I'm just like, ugh, why day, why? This gratitude journal just helps me be like, okay, pick out one thing that you have grateful. Like, I have so many things to always be grateful for, but whenever you have hard days, it's it does make it difficult to remember that. And so just thinking of that at the end of the day or throughout the day, anytime, then it, that just brings positivity back into my mind, into my heart. And on a day that's just kind of, oh, it's another day, like we're just going to school, going to work, doing this, doing that, everything's busy, and it's just a normal day. I think you can get lost in the mundane day-to-day -day things, and you forget to remember how awesome life is. And so if you think of one thing in your life that went right, then that just brings your mind back to that. So number two is starting the day every day with uh, some kind of grateful thing. So I have a book that I read. I haven't been reading every single day, so I need to be better about that. But this is the book. It's So Blessed Living in Gratitude Every Day by Susan Shadis. Chattis. Not good with names. But I'll link that in the description box below. But it's a good one um, that I need to be reading every day. But I like to start out the day with something that deals with gratitude or positive um, affirmation cards or something like that. A prayer is really great to start your day off and just get your mind and your heart ready. And so number three goes along with that and that is ending the day on a grateful note or um, just reflecting on the day. 
I like to end my day in a prayer and go through my prayers with my Heavenly Father, but then also reflect back on the day and think about the things that well, I am grateful for for that day. And so I think that's great. Same thing, you can do a book, gratitude cards, something daily. You can also just do a reflection. So at the end of the day, reflect back on your day and just say what are the things that went right, what are the things that you're grateful for. So number four is dealing with your thoughts. Now I'm not sure if I'm the only one that thinks sometimes, oh, I wish I had this, or I wish my life was going a different way, and, and uh, I have to say, wait, wait, Melissa. Let's think positively. Let's think of three things that are going right or three things that you have to be grateful for. And that just kind of turns my mind around and doesn't put it into wishing I had something that wasn't what I have right now and thinking this is what I do have and this is great. So that's one. And then number five also is dealing with your thoughts, but when you're having a stressful day um, at work or at home, I know, you know, I think any job can be stressful. Um, so I definitely have stressful work days and I have three small children that can be stressful. You can get pulled in lots of different directions. Kids can cry a lot, lots of different things. Patience, ah, patience is a virtue. And it's definitely something you got to work at. And so whenever you are having a stressful or a tough time, you can, instead of dwelling on that and dwelling on those thoughts, then same thing, you can turn around and you can say, okay, let me name to myself three things that are going right today. Um, for example, if my kids are all crying and they're melting down or I'm pulled in lots of different directions and everything just seems like chaos. I'll say, stop, okay, this is what went right today. I got to snuggle extra with my kids in the bed, or we played this really cool game together that we all had fun and laughed, and they all ate their whole lunch without any difficulty, so that's a win. And so I can think of three things for the day, and that helps my mind and my heart just turn back around. So when I was thinking about this video, I actually got in the mail. We are um, a members of the Christian Healthcare Ministries program, and we got their little newsletter in the mail, and it has 10 ways to practice gratitude. And so this is it right here. And so I'm just going to read through them because they definitely had some things that weren't on my list and I thought they were pretty cool. So one is pray and ask God to help you have a heart of thanksgiving and just, just asking God if you could have that in your heart. Keep a daily gratitude journal. Try to list a thousand blessings in a year. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get to a thousand. Probably 365 at least. Um, I'll try to get to a thousand. I'm sure I have a thousand blessings. Uh, three, keep souvenirs of past times when God has worked in your life or answered prayers. So I think that's a good one. Um, keeping a journal in general uh, about things that have gone right is great so you can go back and reflect on those. But keeping a little souvenir next to you, if that helps, your mind, helps remind you of things that you're grateful for, I mean, I think that's a great one. Number four, turn to scripture or your favorite worship playlist instead of dwelling on negative thoughts. So that's turning your thoughts around. Music is a great one. I love that, especially, you know, scripture as well. And so, whatever helps you. Five, write a thank you card to a friend or family member. Writing a thank you card or just, yeah, anything in general. Just writing to somebody and saying thanks. That's the same thing. But yes, writing a thank you card. Six, take a daily picture of something beautiful you observe. So, I actually thought this was a really cool one. I love taking pictures. And so, that's kind of, maybe instead of keeping a trinket, you can just take a picture of it and say, and you know, when you go back through and scroll through your pictures, you can see that and you can be reminded of that. Um, so, seven, perform a random act of kindness. And so that's always a good one, just um, with all the, you know, thinking of all the things that you're grateful for, and then just giving that back to other people is awesome. Number eight, share your blessings by giving to others in need. 
same thing. Take a break from social media, TV, and your mobile phone. Use the additional time to practice one of the items on the list. And then 10, try completing the gratitude prompt below. So I'll show you in just a second, but it's just say something that you're grateful for um, in nature that's beautiful, that changes, money can't buy, that comforts me. Um, recently, God has done for me. And then a memory I am grateful for is a challenge, a person for whom I'm grateful for, and a strength of mine for which I'm grateful for. And so it's just a, you know, a little thing that you can fill out. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, hearing my tips on how you can keep gratitude in your mind and your heart. Like I said, I would love to hear something that you do in the comments below so I can learn from you as well. And I appreciate you watching till the end. If you like the content that I make, I make weekly videos about motherhood, my life, and money. I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.